Hello, my name's Sarah and I'm here to do some art workshops with you for the Hastings Storytelling Festival. Normally I'd be coming into your school, but because of the situation, we are here at my studio. Um, today we are going to be drawing some animals and for that you need some plain paper, a pencil and a pen. And if you have time to colour them afterwards, grab yourself some colouring pencils, but you don't have to have these. Okay, let's begin. So the first task is to take your piece of paper, turn it lengthways and fold it in half. Like that. You're then going to fold it in half again. And again. So you will have, you should have, don't worry if you don't have, eight boxes. And in each of these boxes, we're going to do the first part of our drawing. So, I'm going to use a pen, but if you've only got a pencil, that's okay. So turn your piece of paper to its side. We call this landscape when it's on the side. And you're going to draw a big capital D. And you're going to repeat this for every box. So you're going to have Eight big capital D's. Okay, we're going to look at the top box here. We're going to turn them so the bottom of the D is facing towards you. So you're going to turn it round from drawing the big D so they look like rainbows. This is going to be our first animal. Okay, so we're going to have a bit of fun these are the animals that we're going to be drawing today. There's nine animals here and we've only got eight boxes, so one won't be drawn. So we have a ladybird, a rabbit, a cow, a dog, a hippo, a mouse, a turtle, a cat and a bird. What we're going to do is have a little guessing game. I'm going to roll the dice and it's a number three. I now want you to shout out which one of these animals you think it is. Ready? One, two, three. It's a ladybird. So this is the first animal we are going to draw. We're going to start each animal with the eyes. So get your pencil or your pen and the eyes are going to be quite high up like that. Can you copy that? And then we're going to do the ladybird swirls. They're called antennas. And then a big sort of smile. That's the head. And split that in half. And then we do dots. You can draw as many dots on your ladybird as you like. I'm going to do six dots. We'll give it some legs. And I think that ladybird needs a little smile. And that's your D animal number one. Time to roll the dice. Let's go again. 
and one. What is this animal? Three, two, one. It's a turtle. Let's cross out ladybird. We've done ladybird. So for the turtle, the first thing we're going to draw is its head resting on the line at the bottom. We're then going to draw its little eyes halfway and give her a sweet little smile. And then we can do our turtle patterns. You can do these however you want. I'm just going to do jaggedy lines. Little feet sticking out here. Little feet sticking out here. And then we have our turtle. Okay, time to roll the dice. Oh, let's cross out turtle. Oh, done number one. Done number three. <laughs> number four. What is it, drum roll? Three, two, one. Shout it out. Ah. It's a puppy dog. Let's go with the puppy dogs. Okay. We'll start with the eyes again. These are halfway down. Ooh. Quite big eyes. And then we'll do a triangular nose. Lots of you will have dogs, so you'll know how to draw them. There's a smile and a tongue sticking out. We then do big floppy ears. And then like the turtle, two legs at the side and then two in the middle. Maybe we'll give some little, little claws there. Lots of you might have puppies. And then some nice baby patches. Should we do one on the ear? And there we have our dog. Okay, time to roll the dice. Two. Okay, are you ready? What is behind number two? Three, two, one, shout it out. We have a cat. It's my favourite animal. Okay, so starting with the eyes, same as the dog, a bit smaller these eyes. And I have a little tiny triangle nose. And then we have little loops like that. Now these cats have triangle ears. We do two big triangles and then two small triangles. And then same again. Two feet coming out of the side, two feet in the middle, I think I'll give them claws. This cat has got triangles here, they can hear some whiskers. And there we have our cat. Okay, we have four numbers left. Five, eight, six, and nine. Let's roll the dice. Number five. Drum roll, please. Three, two, one. Shout out what it is. It's a hippo. <laughs> So let's start with the eyes. They're kind of in the middle and they're like little egg shapes. And then we do a big squashy flat circle. I think it's called an oval. And then we do big fat nostrils. 
and let's do little ears and this time the feet aren't rounded they are little square trotter type things we have square feet there there we have our hippo Okay, three left. Number nine. Num oh, you can't see that very well. That's a number nine. Number six and number eight. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? <gasps> Five, six, seven. Number six. Okay, what's it gonna be? Three, two, one. It's a rabbit, okay. For the rabbit, we have nice, halfway, we do the nice egg-shaped eyes, a little tiny triangle, and then we do the little curly mouth. And this has a sweet little circle around it. I think we need to give the rabbit some whiskers, three whiskers. And then the rabbit has big loopy ears, double loops. You can think of anything else that you want to add. Oh, maybe we can do a fluffy tail. And then again, from the sides, little loopy feet. I quite like those things. Okay, two left, number nine, number eight, and number nine. Roll the dice. Six and three equals nine. Let's go, what is it? Three, two, one, drum roll. It's a... It's either a cow, a mouse, or a bird. Drum roll, please. Number nine, what are you? Reveal yourself. It's a map. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So, the eyes are quite far down. Tiny little mouse eyes. And this has got the smallest nose in the world. It's like a tiny little dot. And then we do the sweet little loops. Put that, ooh, dear, that's a bit wobbly. And then this mouse has got massive ears, like a rainbow on either side. And again, we're going to double up. Woo! They're really big ears. Okay, I think we need little whiskers, three on each side. And then a little, we've done this before, so you know how to do it. Two at the front. Now I think we need a mousy tail there. There we have the mouse. Okay, one left, one left. Let's roll for a, oh, we don't need to roll, do we? It's number eight. What is number eight? Three, two, one, shout out there. What do you think it is? It's a cow. Let's draw this cow. Oh, that's cute, that cow. Okay, so again, we'll start with the eyes. And then this one's got a big loopy, like a rainbow again, nose. Two nostrils quite close to each other, open circles, not like the solid circles, they're open ones. And then the ears are coming out of the side little ears, double them up as well. Oh, this is exciting. This one's got little horns. There we go. And then square feet. I like these square feet. 
And then you can put your cow markings on however you want. I quite like them wibbly wobbly like that. And then later when you've got some time you can colour these in. There we have our eight animals made from a capital D. You can always turn your paper over and you have eight more squares so you can draw some more capital D's and put some more animals in or create your own creatures or monsters and show them to your teachers, parents and carers. Maybe you can tell your friend sitting next to you which one was your favourite to draw. So well done, that's it for our first workshop. See you at the next one.